Jeremy, what's happening, mate? Hey, I'm good in you, brother. How's it going? Oh, well, thank you, mate. Really appreciate you coming on, bro. No, of course, man. Thanks for having me, man. Not a problem, mate. How I normally start, it, Jeremy, is um, by asking whereabouts you grew up and what it was like growing up. Yeah. I was just wondering if you could tell us about that, bro. Oh, right, cool. Well, I'm originally from South Africa, Johannesburg, South Africa. Let me just actually take this one. One second. Uh, sorry, can you hear better now? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm originally from, yeah, that's better. I'm originally from Johannesburg, South Africa. I grew up in like Bedford View, Bears Valley sort of area, Yeovil. So not the, not the best of areas, but then, yeah. I grew up like obviously, a little bit, a little bit uh, rough, a little bit poorer. So, yeah. so did, was good. did you start um, combat sports at an early age? I started when I was around 18 years old. I started with uh, Thai boxing, Muay Thai. I was doing amateurs. I was the South African champion for that at about 19. I think I had about 20 amateur fights, and I turned professional for the K1 Thai boxing. I had 12 fights, 10 wins, 9 knockouts, and I swapped over to the MMA because the MMA kind of was making a big thing in back home. <clears throat> so I started doing the MMA. I later on became a fought in America, and then I became the African champion. So I went on to have a record of 11 wins, 7 losses, Nine finishes out of the eleven, and now I've uh, transitioned over to bare boxing. Because I've always had a box, a love for boxing, and a boxing background. I always trained in the boxing gym to work on my hands. And stuff. In fact, my best friend was one of the best boxing trainers that Africa ever had. The late Nick Durant, he passed away, but uh, he had like a couple of fights. He had a golf fight, Floyd Mayweather, uh, Philip and Dew. He had a, a, a numerous champions. About 30, 27 world champions. Bloody hell. <laughs> So, so where, where did it all come about with the um, bare knuckle? How, when did the call come to go change over to bare well, knuckle? I started, so I, was, I came to America, obviously. I started speaking to a couple of the managers before I came over because I saw the sport and I was like, I love that shit. That shit's yeah. made for me. That's perfect. Like, it's boxing <laughs> with no gloves. It's the best thing. It's like, yeah, it would be my strong point. So I was like, well, listen, let me try to do this. I spoke to a couple of the managers. I landed. I was supposed to fight on one of the shows. It got a bit messed around, so I waited on, and then I signed up with. Um, you know, I had a first fight with BYB. I yeah. fought for them, and then obviously I got cut, and they stopped the fight. Which I don't know how you can stop a fight from a cut in bare knuckle boxing. Like, it is cutting part of it. <laughs> so yeah. I had that fight that was last year December, and then I fought now in uh, April for BKFC. I swapped over to BKFC. Yeah, I signed with uh, Ryan Perez my manager, trainer, and signed with him. So, yeah, he got me a fight with BK, BKFC. So, I'm fighting for them now. And then, yeah, hope you fight for them as soon as possible again. So, was the bare knuckle <clears throat> totally brand new for you? Or did you have, like, a few scraps and bare knuckle fights growing up? I've had a few scraps <laughs> growing up. <laughs> had a couple. One or two, to say the least. Yeah. South Africans are apparently quite violent. We're very similar to the British and you know, the English. The same thing. We've got to have a few drinks to get into a fight. Normal. Yeah. Have a drink with a guy afterwards. That's what we do. We, got a very, yeah. we play the same sports. We both play rugby. We, we're very similar. We used to actually be one of your colonies. There we go, the yeah. colony of England. We've got a lot of that. That's why we speak English and not American. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So did you, find, did you find that... Um... The transition over from MMA to bare knuckle. Did you find the nerves or anything uh, different? I think nerves to get into any ring is the nerves you're going to feel. It doesn't make a difference what sport, what type of combat sport it is. It's all similar. It's the same nerves you're going to feel. It's not going to change. The it's like say so was like, oh yeah, getting hit with a bare knuckle is going to hurt. I'm like, you never get hit with an elbow in a knee. That hurts just as much, if not more. So. Yeah, yeah, Joe Rogan uh, say once on a podcast, he says, um, someone says, oh, they shouldn't allow bare knuckle. And he's like, are you crazy? In the UFC, they have fists, knee, um, elbows, knees. Elbows and knees. Yeah. Um, so. And the elbows are a hell of a lot harder than the fist. The yeah. fist you break when you hit somebody. The elbow doesn't break. It's like a solid piece of bone. Yeah. Well, I've <laughs> been some nasty knockouts like with elbows and knees and things. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. So what's what's the um, plan then? Have you got any fights lined up for the BKFC? Um, I don't have anything lined up. I was hoping 24th of June, but that card's got full. So I won't be fighting on that card. 
Um, so obviously, I'm just staying ready. If someone gets injured or they give me a call and say, hey, we need somebody, then I'll jump in as quick as possible. But I'm hoping definitely some in July, August. I think the next part after that. So the next one in Florida, because I'm based in Florida, so there's no point really like try, flying me out. And then I was going to fight in the UK, which I wouldn't mind. Because I've got a passport. So I can bring it up. You must have seen BKFC London. I, I bet you're um, dying to be. I'd a love to. I've got, big, I've got a lot of friends in the UK because a lot of them moved over from South Africa like many years back. So. But I've got quite a big following in the UK. So maybe it's, let, me, let me drop them. Let me give them a see like, what they say. <laughs> like I say, mate, there's um, massive chances for all you fighters. Like um, David Feldman said, that there's potentially six shows a year going on in the UK. Mm hmm. Six so, years. I think I think BKFC is going to take over big time. It's, it's entertaining. People want to see it. People love the knockout. People love the blood. End of the yeah. day, the savages are the crowds, not the fighters. Yep, yeah, of course, mate. And you've got all these superstars turning over to it now as well. Yep. Yeah. Everybody's coming over because they look after their fighters. Yeah. Definitely. They pay you what you deserve. You get to fight and like. Also, like coming from the MMA background, the wrestling and the jiu-jitsu is what injured. Well, the wrestling especially is what takes the most strain on your body. Yeah. Like the neck injuries, the shoulders, all of that. That's all from wrestling. Like the boxing stuff, it doesn't hurt you as much. You don't really see boxers fucking up their necks too much. Like a little bit, but not like wrestlers. You're damaging your necks, your, your back, your lower back, your knees, all of that. And the boxing doesn't take as much toll on the body. It does take a lot of toll, but not as much. More yeah. on the hands and the brain. <laughs> yeah, of course. Is there anybody who you've got your eyes on in your division? Anyone. I don't really care who. I'm yet to fight. So obviously, I want to get the belt. So whoever's there, I think I think I've got one more, two more fights, and then I want to start calling out names. I just signed with them. I've only had one fight. So let me get another one, and then start calling people out. Yeah, of course, mate. That would be great. And with the BKFC London as well, um, Obviously, you've seen all our fighters that are on there. What do you think of the British yeah. fighters who are in the BKFC at the moment? Well, the British have done bare knuckle for a long time. But they still do it. It's been as part of your guys, your sport, basically. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think there's a lot of guys with no experience. And the British, like I said, we're similar to South Africans. We like to scrap. We like to fight. It's part of our, our upbringing. It's like, hey, let's get into a tussle on the weekend. Yeah. Go out, get a puss up and knock someone out. It's a normal night out. <laughs> I'm like, fine. <laughs> so, so when I moved to America, I had to become civilized. It was a bit difficult. <laughs> yeah, I've worked in America before, and it's just totally different. You don't do nothing wrong in America, dare you? <laughs> oh, you can't even jaywalk. <laughs> you can't even go to the road wrong. You get arrested. Crazy. Yeah. But like I say, yeah. mate, I know you're busy with training and that, so I won't keep you for too long. No, no, no. Is there yeah. any um, shout-outs or sponsors or anything, mate, that you'd like to give? Uh, yeah, I just want to shout-out to my coaches, um, Chuck Eason, and uh, obviously Ryan Perez, also my training partners, HD, Howard Davis. Yeah, he's got a fight coming up now on the 24th of June. He's yes. got a nice big one as well. Yeah, yeah he's got a, that guy, that kid's got skill. He's got talent. He's going to go far. Yeah, I think after this, they need to give him a title shot. So. Yeah. He deserves it. Definitely. And then, yeah, just obviously my supplement store, Total Nutrition, Western. Yeah, shout out to that. If you guys want to follow me at uh, Pitbull uh, underscore Smith on Instagram, and obviously Facebook, Jeremy Pitbull Smith. But... Yeah, I'll put all that in the description of the video, bro. Thanks, but, brother. Um, I appreciate that. I really appreciate you coming on, bro, and I hope to see you. Uh, yeah, man, anytime. I'd love to come to the UK. I'm actually going to I'll speak to Dave Feldman and see what he says. Hopefully, we can get a, get a shot of it. So, yeah, I've got a passport and I'm allowed. I've got a German passport, so I don't need a visa. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Quality. Yeah. It's one, mate. Yeah. We'll, definitely, we'll stay in touch now and uh, start doing more. Yeah, things. definitely. Interviews. Cool. Thank you so much. I appreciate you having me. Take care, brother. Thanks for having me. Thank you very All much. All the best. Cheers, mate. Thanks, mate. Cheers, bro. Bye. Bye.